become guru. Mahabu. He said, "Become guru." Yeah, Mahabu. Talk to the devotee. He said to devotees, "You become guru. You take my mission and you preach it. You take this mission of, of bhakti yoga, of this uh, sh like Harinam Mahamantra, this Krishna consciousness, yes. and you yes. distribute this throughout." Far and wide, all anyone you meet, you tell them about Krishna, and I promise I will. The Lord Himself, Mahaprabhu, He said, I will protect you from any. If you think, oh, I can't do this, I'm not qualified, I will become so proud, like oh, Mahaprabhu said, no, I will, I will remove all of those obstacles, <coughs> but you must do this. He said. Okay, this is Mahaprabhu so so that so in today, so so that so is you. You must want to become a guru. 你们要把这个圣灵的运动要传播整个世界，然后就是， and then you said all that? No, repeat. I was <laughs> wrong. Yeah, okay. Yeah, maybe just yeah, this this point was that the Lord Mahaprabhu, yeah, Mahaprabhu, he gave his empowerment. He empowered. All devotees, even if they're new, or they're very senior, that every person they meet, they should speak the glories of Krishna. They should, they should tell this person about Krishna. They should preach. And actually, in this way, they should become qualified. They will become qualified. They may not be qualified when they begin. But no harm. That they should start this preaching mission. And spread this movement of love of God to all living beings. Spread the Sankirtan movement, Mahamantra. Mahamantra that by this preaching, they will be purified. And he said, I will take responsibility for you. Mahababu said, yes. Don't fear that if I begin to preach, I will become very proud. Just do it. And I will remove all obstacles. This is the desire of the Lord. So, how do we reconcile that with what we hear from Srila Bharati Maharaj? Reconcile. Reconcile. How do we like uh, make it? How to define reconcile? How do we? It seems that what Srila Bharati Maharaj is saying is a little bit different than what the Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. 好像刚才说，好像马哈拉所说的，好像跟这个马哈拉布所讲的有些不一样。How do we understand this? 我们怎么样明白呢？哦，那就问这个问题。So, I don't know. <laughs> but it's it's not different. That's all I can say. Why? Because Srila Bharati Maharaj, our Srila Gurudev, they are associates of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Yeah. So if Srila Bharati Maharaj is saying, we must develop our bhajan. Then it means that we must develop our bhajan. <laughs> and if Srila Gurudev is saying, I want you to preach, and because preaching is bhajan. Because preaching is also part of how you will develop your budget. Yeah. Then we should we should try 
in our heart to pray to them about what pleases them and what pleases Mahaprabhu. 就是什么可以取悦你们, yeah. So I don't know, I don't have so many answers. I just offer that thing from Sri Chaitanya Charitamrita because I think it's it's useful to hear it that that's actually the words of the Lord. And also I've heard many other things. It's like it's very it's a very subtle thing. It's a very subtle thing. Like it's a process of purification, a process, you know? Because one isn't actually a fully a guru until they have tasted themselves the ripened fruit of bhakti. They have that they're tasting that fruit in their heart. This rust, this bhav, this preem that's so ripe that they it's like naturally falling from the tree. And naturally that's coming to everyone around them. Naturally. That's that's what's also been spoken from Srila Bharati Maharaj, that at that time one is actually a guru. So if the one who has who will be who want to be a guru, he first need to taste. Like for example, um one time, one time in Jagannath Puri, we were there a year and a half or so ago, right before Guru Dev's appearance day. And we were with Srila Bharati Maharaj. And he was giving class on who and what is who is Guru. And he said not until one's one's seed of bhakti has grown so high through all the stages of bhakti there's many stages of bhakti and, and, what okay what is a seed seed like when we when we receive the harinam maha mantra initiation from Guru, he puts a seed of bhakti in our heart. So that it can we can by our sadhana, by our hearing, our chanting, our service, our remembering. We begin to water that seed of devotion. Love. And gradually, gradually it grows from the stage of faith. Shraddha. Then to Anartha Nivriti, giving up all of our obstacles of the heart. Then to Nishta, like firm faith in Guru. Then to Ruchi, some tastes come. Then to Asakti, deep attachment to the Lord. Then Bhav, which is our like naturally loving mood of like spontaneous loving mood towards yeah, God. And then when that bhav is fully mature and we we fully realize our svarup, our spiritual form. We have so much love for Krishna we have we've developed prem actually. <coughs> and at that point, we actually give up the material body because the, this body cannot even hold that type of love. Because An example is given about um, sh uh, sugar, sugar cane. When you, when you first get sugar cane, from the plant, it's like liquid. Yeah. And then you can process it in so many different ways. It becomes like a gran granules, little grains, like sugar grains. And, but at the beginning, when it's sugar, when it's juice, if you spill it, then it goes everywhere and it's all lost. 
Yeah. So like when we are new to bhakti, we have only just faith. We are we need a lot of protection. Because if it spills out, then it can go ever we lose things very easily. But then, as as we process this sweetness more and more, like it becomes sugar granules, you can sweep them up a little bit and collect them. Yeah. Then you can make it into jaggery, like which I don't know exactly. Then into gur, gur, which is like hard, hard. And, and finally you can make rec, like rock candy out of this sugar, like rock candy. So like this is like the, fade, the stages of bhakti. At the time of praying, if you were to drop like drop that uh, sugar rock candy, it won't, it, it, there's no loss, you can just take it and it's still fully sweet, there's no loss. So, who is Guru? One who is at that level. They are strong, they are condensed in their love of God. Another way, <coughs> Srila Maharaj has explained it, another way is that our seed, it grows up like a creeper. And in the very beginning of the creeper, it's like like a, like a small baby tree, it needs like a fence to surround it, to keep it protected. Because it's so delicate, it can just, anybody, any elephant can come and stomp yeah. on it, or someone can eat it, yeah. or anything. It needs like a lot of protection. So we can easily be influenced by the outside. outside. But as we become more and more strong in our devotions, devotional service, Matures. This creeper will go up and up and up. Through Vaikuntha. And ultimately, we want to reach Goloka Vrindavan, where Radha and Krishna, they are there. Ultimately, like finally destined. Right. To Goloka Vrindavan, which is which is Golok 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 Vrindavan. Yeah. So if we if we come if our bhakti comes to that place, this tree will have so much ripe fruit on it. This creeper that was once a seed in our heart, it's become a full tree and it's bearing fruit of of love. And when like when the tree is so heavy with that fruit because it's so ripe, the fruit is very ripe and full, it's the, even the branches are like bending down like this. At that time, all of that fruit that that devotee is tasting, all of this sweet nectar from the fruit, but there's so much fruit they can't taste it all themselves. It's so heavy on their tree that it naturally just falls down. That type of a personality is guru. If you try to distribute this fruit at any time before that, 
果子咧 ？It won't have the same sweetness. 即系没有这么甜嘅。So we hear this like that the real position of guru is very high thing. High. 其实我哋诶、um, 真正的诶、uh, guru 的地位是很高，这个命题是很高的。But we look at ourselves. 我们看我们自己。How did we come to Guru Dev? 我们怎么？我们是怎么样去固定哪里呢 ？It's not everybody that gets direct association immediately with Guru Dev. 不是每一个人可以直接去固定哪里的。Somebody came、yeah. to you and spoke to you about something、yeah. from Krishna consciousness. 先是有些人来你面前说一些 Krishna 拒绝的事情。Somebody came to you and prepared the way for you to come to Guru Dev. Somebody came to you and introduced you to all this、um, this path of bhakti yoga. They preached to you. Some people came to you and explained to you how to go to bhakti yoga. Maybe it was Guru Dev himself. 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 Maybe it was Guru Dev So this is we have we need all of this.、Uh, this is also part of Guru Parampara.、Mm -hmm. We can see it that way. 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 Themselves, they may not be fully able to to taste what Guru Dev is giving us. Does this make sense? Yeah. Like this. Kind of. Yeah. What is this? Can we turn it off? Okay. So that person who came to you, they may not be fully pure yet. 那些来到你面前的人，可能不是纯粹奉献者。But they're serving with sincerity, and they're because of their service. You have benefited so much to have, to have been able to come to Guru Dev. This this is the mercy of the devotees. So the mercy of devotees is coming. Through many, 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 many people. Not through. Do you? Th if if we think that only Guru Dev can give us mercy, then this is very limited. So, if we think, if we think that only Guru Dev can give us mercy, then this is very limited. If we think that that the mercy of of Guru Dev come, it's okay. If we if we think the mercy of Guru Dev can only come from Guru Dev. We're very limited. If we just think that only Guru Dev can give us mercy, then this is very limited. Yeah. So we have to think that only Guru Dev can give us mercy. So we have to think that only Guru Dev can give us mercy. So we have to think that only Guru Dev can give us mercy. So we have to think that only Guru Dev can give us mercy. So we have to think that only Guru Dev can give us mercy. So we have to think that only Guru Dev can give us mercy. So we have to think that only Guru Dev can give us mercy. So we have to think that only Guru Dev can give us mercy. So we have to think that only Guru Dev can give us mercy. So we have to think that only Guru Dev can give us mercy. All of the people that are helping us understand Guru Dev, helping us understand Mahaprabhu, because it's we we need these people to like teach us. And this is a great service. 对对对，都有很多人，我们不可以一一步就走到奉献者，就纯粹拿你们。And by this, by this service, by this service that people are giving in teaching others, this mission is spreading more and more to China, to America. It's spreading by this service. 就是这些全家的服务，这些对孤独的服务，对奉献者，就把这些孤独的。认识派发给每一个地地方的人。其实我觉得就是地方奉献。服务孤独的心绪去传递是服务。对。如果为了自己的利益，为了自己得到什么好处啊，得到什么，那就不是服务，也不是传递。但是我们要明白，马哈拉所讲的都是
A quick, I think we have only a little tiny bit left of the class and then we can wrap it up. We can finish. Just a little bit left and then I finish because we have to go. It's wonderful. Okay, so... When a person is absorbed in material life, then they come in contact with sadhus. Then they become a devotee. And they'll start to see everything of this material world as useless. Because they will be completely absorbed in the lotus feet of the Lord. And because of this absorption in the Lord, then all of his anger, lust, greed, all of these misgivings of our heart, these bad things in our heart, they'll actually start to be used in the service of the Lord. Do they know about this? Yes, yes. They know. Okay. Okay, because like greed, we develop, how do we change, how does greed become used in service to the Lord? So how does greed become used in service? Anybody know? Okay. Okay。为了Krishna,他他他他他他去采花呀。是啊。我就是去听他去去为自己他他他就不对了。去做一些。Oh, greed, no, okay, so greed becomes, oh, uh, they're trying to answer, they're trying to answer, okay, okay, the, so the answer is this, greed becomes used in service when a devotee develops this intense greed for sadhu sangha. That instead of having material greed, that actually I want the service of I want the service of Guru and Vaishnavas and the Lord. I want this. This greed, divine greed. Divine greed. How is anger used? Okay, Anger. Only justification for anger is if somebody's speaking ill about your guru or your or those dear devotees of the Lord. So that's what I got angry. <laughs> That's why I got angry too. I know, I know, I understand. And lust. Why is he so angry? Because when his love and 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 his love, this anger, this love and his love will come to him. How do you do this? This love is really good. 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 Because when every person has his love and his love, 对，好像你的狗爬，你的神像，你的什么的扎根啊，呃，我在巴布基，我在斯里马哈拉，以前以前以前呃，有那大家我去这里的时候，我们都不听的时候，都是一样嘛，都是哎，你不跟古代嘛
you betray your gurus, so it's like this, the, the anger. To understand the guru, we need the help from Vaishnava. Okay, this is other things, okay? Not just, another things. I just explain the anger, okay? The anger, why we yes, anger. that's what I'm telling you. Yeah, we also anger when the people go to Sri Mahamad before, you know. It's the anger that, yeah, that is a, yeah, this is okay. something. Okay, so the thing is, so you know. Uh, Let's okay. just anger use for so to protect your guru and Vaishnava. Anger is just some things are just bad for our guru and Vaishnava. Okay. Like yeah. when somebody yeah, against yeah, yeah. my guru, so that's just a limiting of anger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So this is this is the proper use of anger. Actually. Yeah. But we should be careful. That's what we are saying. Because we don't have vision, actually. We don't see yeah, yeah. the kind of devotion yeah. that is in the hearts of the Vaishnavas. We don't see. Why? Because for someone, I shouldn't say we, I'll say myself. I can't see. Why? Why? Because my mind is very conditioned to seeing faults in other people. This is actually a symptom that I don't have any devotion. <laughs> that means I have no devotion. Why? Because those those who have devotion, they see the good qualities yeah, in others, yeah. and they see that this person is somehow serving God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even they may be very fallen, yeah, that yeah, person, but yeah, they don't see so much the yeah, faults. Yeah. They see that person yeah. is a servant of Krishna. Yeah. Krishna is known as the ocean of mercy. Krishna He's very, very merciful. And forgiving also. But the one thing that is very difficult for Krishna to forgive is that when any person makes offense to his devotees. Krishna ha cannot tolerate this. So, because why? These devotees are his representatives in this world. They are the ones giving the mercy to us. Yeah? So, Krishna himself, he says, if you make offense to me, okay, you just chant Harinam. Harinam Prabhu is more merciful than me. It will, it will relieve you of your offense. It will, you will have atonement for your offense through Harinam. But if you make offense to my devotees, my devotees are my heart. They've given up everything for me. They're serving me in every single way. This is the Vaishnava's heart. Inside the Vaishnava's heart, Govinda is resting there. The Lord is resting. They're very kind and selfless. And the Vaishnavas themselves are very tolerant. Like Trinada Pisunichina 
if okay. someone's coming and cutting them down, they don't, they don't, they tolerate. If someone speaks so many bad things, if someone speaks so many bad things, they tolerate. But Krishna does not tolerate this. So we must be most careful about making aparad or offense to the lotus feet of Vaishnavas. Because until we ourselves become Vaishnava, so you become yourself. Until my, I myself become a Vaishnava. I can't actually see anyone how they're serving. I'm like a blind person. This inside that heart, they may be so surrendered to God. But because I am so conditioned to see faults of everybody, I don't even see how they are surrendered. And so what do I do? I, I put all of my own bad qualities that are inside of me onto that person, that very pure person, maybe pure person, I don't know. So as much as possible as, as much as possible as much as possible we should try to protect ourselves. I should try to protect myself from um, because I'm like a baby tree. And this this Vaishnava Aparad, it's compared to like a big elephant that comes and stomps on this tree. How can the tree grow when an elephant comes in there? So our bhakti cannot come out and grow if we are if we are criticizing any Vaishnava, anyone. So you actually even mind on mind. For sh we should try our level best even by our mind. Gurudev says we should try even by mind not to criticize. Anyone. Only see our own negative qualities and pray. For myself personally, I see that I'm in such a condition of being blind that I especially have to honor all Vaishnavas. Wherever they're coming from. Because one may be starting, yeah. it may be that someone is just starting on the path of bhakti yeah, yeah. right now. But actually, they could be very advanced from many yes, lives back. Yes, yes, yes. We can't see. So so last but not least, any Srila Maharaj he said that anything that's created by the Lord can be used for the service of the Lord. So even that lust, anger, greed, and once we have the association of sadhus, they those things can start to properly be used in service to the Lord. And they become trans they those things change. 
我们的所有的什么不好的习惯啊、生命生生气啊、私欲，都可以改变成为福无主的。Um, and then by this association of sadhus, no matter where one stays, or in what ashram they're in, what, 什么庙里边 they're not bothered by anything of this material world. They are devotees. 他们不为给一些些物质的事情干扰的 And um, this is very sweet. Um, Kirtan we were singing during Kartik in the very early morning, right before Mangala Arti, we would sing a Kirtan. And this this time, uh, we we were hearing about the Leela when Radha and Krishna were just being starting to be woken up by the Sakis. So, this morning,就是当乱当乱你起来的时候，就呃那些萨克去怎么样叫醒他们。And uh, that there, there are many birds there, like the parrots, Shuka and Sari, and they're singing songs. 很多鸟啊。To wake them up. 很多鸟啊，去唱歌叫醒他们。But Radharani, she wakes up. 我当乱你起来了。but Krishna, he's still sleeping. Actually, he may be pretending to be sleeping. <laughs> but um, they don't know how to wake him up. And there's one female monkey that she's nearby, the kunj. Her name is Kakatira. And she wants to serve Radha and Krishna, but she doesn't know how. And the Sakis see her desire. And they see that Krishna won't wake up also. So they give her a signal. They say, okay, you make your, your monkey sound. And maybe her monkey sound is not so beautiful, actually. But this, but she has such desire. I want to serve. So they, she does this. They give her permission. She gives this sound. So he takes it. And then Krishna wakes up. Give it to serve. Then Krishna is really coming. Hear it after. So, um. It said that uh, each and every sound can give pleasure to Radha and Krishna. So Because actually in each and every sound there is harmony. Like, like a musician, he can play so many instruments, there can be so many instruments but even though there's so many, there's harmony between them. So in the pastimes of the Lord and in the service of the Lord, it doesn't matter whatever kind of service one does, if one does it sincerely, then all kinds of service have harmony in, in it. I think maybe we should stop there for now. There's more, but I think we're kind of finished. Okay, that's really good. Yeah.